Well, I already have. <laughs> this is the. Uh, this is the last time we're going to have one of these meetings, and I wanted to thank you for your for your courtesies. Uh, as you know, the relationship between uh, government officials and uh, journalists is always uh, fraught with interest and uh, importance, lively yet weighty. And uh, open to question. And uh, I hope you'll agree that I've been very responsive in answering all questions on all subjects, uh, but I am very grateful to you all. Well, thank you. We, thank uh, you had, a, uh, we had a uh, 45th meeting, and I thought it was useful as uh, I was leaving and as I was uh, saying goodbye to uh, talk about some of the things that, have, that impressed me as I look back over these 45 weeks, the proposals which our side has made, the reaction to those proposals, the, uh, the errors that still persist and still are obstacles to progress, uh, and the hope for the future. Uh, so that's, that's what I did today. Good, uh, and and, 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 and I, I, I'd like you to read the speech because it's better stated than if I could try to state it now. Did anything come up, sir, after your presentation of these facts that would lead you to believe that the other side might have a change of heart? No. I. Uh, I'm an optimist, though. I, I don't give up on this, uh, uh, this task that we have here. Uh, I think the achievement of a, of a negotiated peace is of overwhelming importance, and when a thing is as important as that is, I believe it'll come about someday.